토픽 한국어 능력시험 5 밑줄 친 부분과 반대되는 뜻을 가진 것을 고르십시오. Please select the one which has the opposite meaning of underlined part. 1번 사과를 많이 샀어요? 아니요. Blank 샀어요. 사과 is kind of apple. What, what does it mean? 사과 is yes, apple. 샀어요? Did you buy? Basic form is 사다. That means buy. So did you buy money? Many apples? A lot of apples? Many. So the meaning of many is a few. Uh, so, 조금 is right answer. 조금 is a few or a little. 많이 is many and much. 사과를 많이 샀어요? 아니요, 조금 샀어요. 아니요, is no. So, that's why 조금 gonna be the right answer. Um... 너무 is too, or sometimes very. 너무 can be the synonym of 아주, 매우, 정말. But sometimes it has meaning of too. 너무 추워요. That means it's too cold. 너무 비싸요. That means too expensive. 제일 is most. In 빨리 is fast. Next, 밑줄 친 것과 의미가 같은 것을 고르십시오. 2번, 서울에 다시 가고 싶어요. 네, 저도 blank 가고 싶어요. 의미가 같은 것. So you have to find out the words which has same meaning of this underlined part, which has similar meaning of this part. 어, 다시 is again. So again, there is word for 다시 and 또. 어, 네, 저도 yes, 또 가고 싶어요. 가고 싶어요. 고 싶어요 is I'd like to, I want to. 가고 싶어요. I want to go. To Seoul is capital city of Korea. It's Seoul. I want to go Seoul again. 네, yes. 저도 또 가고 싶어요. I want to go to Seoul again. 다시 또. Have a meaning of again. 밑줄 친 것과 의미가 같은 것을 고르십시오. Please found out, please select the one which has similar meaning of this underlined part. 3번, 날마다 한국어 공부를 해요. 한국어 공부, Korean study. So, do you study Korean? 날마다, that means every day. 날마다 is pure Korean for every day. And for Chinese Korean, we use 매 일 for every day. 날마다 매일 is same word. Uh, so where is 매일? Yes, number 4. 매일. 날마다 한국어 공부를 해요. Or you can say 매일 한국어 공부를 해요. Do you study Korean every day? 네, 저는 매일 아침에 한국어 공부를 해요. 매일, 매일 아침에 한국어 공부를 해요. 지금, now. 조금, a few, a little. 자주, often, frequently. Next. 빈칸에 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Please select the one which has appropriate answer for this blank. 4번. 머리가 너무 아파요. 머리 is head. 아파요, sick, get hurt. 머리가 아파요, that means I have headache. 너무, too sick. That means I have severe headache. Then, 집에서, at home, blank. 쉴까요, 쉬세요, 쉬었어요, 쉬고 싶어요. What is basic form of this expression? Yes, 쉬다. 
That means take a rest. In that situation, you have to use polite request, polite、um, kind of imperative form. Please take a rest at home at your home. I have severe headache. Then take a rest at your home. 쉴까요? 쉬세요. Yes, 쉬요 is polite request. It's kind of imperative form. 쉬었어요 is past form. I took a rest. 쉬고 싶어요. I want to take a rest. So number two is right answer. Then please find the appropriate answer for this blank. 5번. 녹차 좀 드세요. Blank. 조심하세요. 녹차 is green tea. 드세요 is polite form of 먹으세요. Um, 드세요 is a polite request, and this basic form is 드시다. It's honorific form of 먹다. Eat or drink or uh, 마시다. Uh, as a honorific form of 먹다 or 마시다, eat or drink, we use Korean use 드시다. It's a polite form. It's honorific form. So, please drink a cup of green tea. 좀 is also the expression to show the politeness to the listener. 녹차 좀 드세요. Then, 조심하세요. Be careful. Because it's blah blah blah. 뜨겁고 뜨겁지만 뜨거워서 뜨거우니까 basic form is 뜨겁다. That means too hot. Um, you have to be careful because it's too hot. So you have to choose the express expression for because. For because, wasa or Unica can be used, but before the imperative form, tiga unica gonna be the right answer. Tiga wasa tiga unica has a, have same meaning because it's too hot, because it's too hot. However, before this imperative form, when there is imperative form after this expression, you have to use unica. Expression you have to remember. Okay, so let's read it. 녹차 좀 드세요. 뜨거우니까 조심하세요. 6번, 6. 도서관이 몇 층이에요? 몇층 is what floor is library. 몇 층, what floor? 3층이에요. It's third floor. 여기가 2층이니까 한층더 blank. 의이니까. Here's the second floor, so you have to go one more floor. You have to go up one more floor. Po is more. One floor. So, 도서관 is in, 도서 library is in third floor. So, here's the second floor. You have to go up one floor. One more floor. In, uh, in this sentence, there is ini. Ga expression because it's second floor. Then you have to use imperative form. Then or you can catch this、uh, expression in this context. Please go up one more floor. Ola kaseyo. Go up. Kaseyo is go. Ola kaseyo is go up. Okay. Ola kaseyo. Went up. 올라갈까요? May I go up? Or shall we go up? 올라갈 거예요. It's future. I will go up. So number three is right answer. Let's read again. 도서관이 몇 층이에요? 삼 층이에요. 여기가 이 층이니까 한층더 올라가세요. Next. Please found that the incorrect lin is incorrect. In correct expression. 문을 
달을까요? 문, 문 is door. 문 is door. Then, what is close in Korean? Yes, 닫다. That means close. So, 문을 닫다 is close the door. It has tigut ending consonant, however. It is not tigut irregular verb. It is regular verb. So, your form is 닫아요. 을까요 form is 닫을. This stem of verb, this stem is not changed to the. It's regular verb. It's not irregular verb. 다들까요 is right answer. It's incorrect expression. So number one is the answer. 김치는 정말 매워요. 매워요. Basic form is 맵다. So if you make a U form of 맵다, 비읍 is changed to what? Yes, 워. It's 비읍 irregular verb. 매, 워, 요. Most of adjective which include 비읍 in last syllable of the stem is 비읍 irregular verb, an uh, irregular adjective. So if you want to make a U form of this adjective, which which include P in their stem, uh, this ending consonant P is changed to wo. Uh, the kimchi is really spicy. Then 더우니까, because it's hot, 으니까, then here's um imperative from 창문을 여세요. Uh, Please open the window. Uh, 열다 is basic form. But to make a um, uh, polite request, imperative form, 세요, this deal is deleted. Deal deletion. So, 열, 여, 세, 요. 4. 4번. 조용한 음악을 듣고 싶어요. 듣다 is listen to. Silent music. Quiet music. I want to listen. Quiet music. Silent, silent music. 듣다. When 고 싶어요 is attached, the stem of verb is not changed. So it's correct expression. So number one is right answer for this question. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. 감사합니다.